Hey, what's going on, guys? KS here, and welcome to another video. So, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a pop up GUI when you touch your car. Um, so, basically, uh, all you're going to need is your GUI. Let me bring it on the screen real quick. Uh, all it is is just a text button, text label without a frame. Uh, this is just an example uh, GUI, so it doesn't have to do anything. Uh, so, you go back on screen. I have a bool value, um, set the false, called open, and you know, the local script inside there, which is completely empty right now. So, um, uh, another thing, I have uh, the part with that script in it, and then I have a remote event called open inside of the workspace. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your script that's inside of the part, so yeah. Local parts equal script something, and then you're going to be uh, create um, a variable for the event. So local event equals uh, workspace dot uh, open, and then part dot touch connect function hit. And so what this is going to be used for is to uh, get the player. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is where we're going to actually get the player. So local dlr equals game dot players colon get uh, player or character and hit dot parent. And then uh, if dlr then uh, event colon uh, fire point and then off to the player and that's it for the script uh, we can now go off to the local script inside the GUI itself um, this is where uh, most of the code is going to go anyway uh, so we're going to go create a variable for the frame we're going to go local frame equals script And so basically, we put the close button equals uh, frame dot close and local open equals frame dot close and frame dot open uh, that value and then the event is equal to workspace dot open. So we'll first make the open event so. Uh, event uh, dot on client event connect function. Um, so when the player touches the part and fires the event off to the client, you know, uh, it just when it um, starts touch basically, it will fire this uh, event, and this is below where all the action will happen. So if open then um, we're going to do frame colon clean position unit 2 dot new 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 um, and we'll do out I do not want to do that there we go and then bounce so it's kind of cool uh, when we do bounce I'll do uh, 0 0.5 Uh, so that's to open it, uh, close it, we're just going to do button, dot mouse button when you click. Uh, connect function. Uh, and then we'll just do uh, if not open. Uh, I'll press them up here. Uh, we'll do wait. Alright, so now I just got these elements up, so if not open, and then open is equal to true. Sure. Uh, then we gotta check if it's open. Then, yeah. Just completely mess up, or not. 
um, so we'll do frame colon clean position, get them to dot new, 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 1.5, comma 0, and then um, uh, so it's going to be the same thing. Balance. that. Um, another thing I should point out is that I'm using an anchor point of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, so your position might be a little bit different, and it also depends on the size of the edge you are, so um, change the position based on that. So now when I go touch this part, it opens up, closes, opens up, closes. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.